So I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about a little something different. One of the things in the HVAC world is we're on our feet and we're exposed to crazy conditions all day long. By the end of that day, my boots are pretty much a sauna. And one of the things that contributes to that being a sauna is my socks. Now I've been using these Kirkland Signature socks for years and they're terrible. Not only are they juicy by the end of the day, and yes, I said juicy because it's gross, um, but they basically slide all the way down below my ankle and they bunch up at the toes. Plus these heels completely wear out after like maybe six months. So I'm always buying new bags. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to look into getting some work socks. And uh, luckily for me, somebody actually hit me up about them. And it's this company right here called the uh, Camel City Mill uh, Work Socks. And they make it out of their Ironside mer Merino wool, which is supposed to be super durable. They've actually took a strand of this stuff and, and hung a weight from it. It's pretty crazy. I forget how much what the weight is, but if you check out their website, you can see it's pretty, pretty impressive. They're made in the U.S. They have reinforced heels, which is pretty awesome. And they're moisture wicking, which is the most important part. So hopefully by the end of the day, after I wear these, my feet aren't going to be all soggy. Uh, I can also see here that the toe has a little bit of padding. There's a little bit of padding on the ball of the foot, which is awesome because the ball of my feet always hurt. And there's padding on the heel and right before the heel. Um, again, it's made in North Carolina, which is pretty good. So uh, we're going to give this a, a go and see how we like them. Um, they did send me a, a two pairs of these, uh, but they told me be honest. So we're going to be honest and we're going to do it HVAC style. We're going to actually measure the relative humidity of my boot while I'm wearing these. And we're going to compare it to our uh, Costco specials. So I'm going to have this guy on my left foot and the Costco special on my right foot. And we're going to compare the relative humidity inside the boot. And then I'm going to take off the socks, wrap, them, wrap the psychrometers up with the socks themselves and see which one dries faster. Um, because they're supposed to dry really quick, which is pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, let's give it a shot. So here we go. Okay, so I'm home. Um, so let's see how things fared. Uh, the sock has actually stayed up pretty good. Um, it started off up here, so it did slide down a little bit. But the uh, other one, definitely, I can feel it's bunched up at the toe, which is pretty usual for this. So let's see. Uh, the blue one we're going to do on my left. So we're going to put that in there see what the relative humidity is so i have the screen up right there and then the red one is going to be my right which is the costco special and i have that all the way in all right cool so we'll let her chill and then we'll see uh what our relative humidity in my shoe is right now the red is my right foot which is the um kirkland special and the blue is my left foot, which is the Camel City Mill sock. So as you can see, I'm about 80% relative humidity on my camel, <laughs> or on my uh, on my left foot, and then my right foot is 90% humidity. So about 10% difference. So now I'm going to take the socks off. I'm going to wrap them, wrap the uh, psychrometers with the sock, and see which one dries out faster. So we'll start a timer. Okay, so we got that one as our Camel City, and that one right there is our Kirkland. So we'll go ahead and start our timer. There we go. So uh, we'll let her chill for about five minutes. All right, so it's been a little over five minutes. Focus. There we go. Uh, and well, the relative humidity is, yeah, it's a lot lower on our, uh, on our Camel City. So it looks like uh, it does uh, dry out a lot much faster than the Costco special. And again, uh, the toe bunched up on me. That one totally stayed up the whole time. The calf part kind of went down a little bit, but not into the shoe. Um, and that's probably just because I got a big calf. But uh, yeah, so I would say uh, very comfortable. I wore them throughout the day. The little padding stuff kind of helped. 
I am noticing that my left foot, which is what I was wearing that one on, uh, it's actually not as sore as my right foot. So my right, my feet are usually pretty sore by the end of the day. And um, it's sore, it's still sore, but I feel like this side is not as sore as that side. So hopefully this video helps you in deciding on picking up a pair of these socks. Um, again, you can pick them up at camelcitymill.com. Um, you can get them in any size you need. They have the six inch, the eight inch, or the 12 inch. They come in black, gray, or tan. Um, so go ahead and add one to your cart. And then when you go to check out, if you go down to the discount code section, you can enter a Nighthawk 10 and that'll get you 10% off of your purchase of your uh, work boot or your work uh, socks. So anyway, hopefully this video helped you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you on the next one.